Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to my Gmon Machinima Guide. You're watching episode 8. Wow, it's been 8. And last episode, we were in Gmod doing some lip syncing. It took a while. Well, if you're doing Gmod and lip syncing, get used to it. It's gonna take a while. That one took a little bit longer because I was trying to explain stuff, but this stuff takes a while. I wish it didn't, but it is what it is. So, strap on in. I'll meet you in Sony Vegas. Alright, here I am in Sony Vegas Pro 9. We're gonna edit this line of audio with heavy. So, let's get to it. Let's import this. Actually, yes, we want all this. These are all the stills we took in Gary's mod of him saying it. All these. <coughs> Sorry. And we're gonna... This isn't really necessary for a small project like this, but whenever I'm making any substantial or moderately large video, I like to make media bins. So I'm just gonna name this H1. Not H exclamation mark. H1 for heavy scene one. And we're gonna take all this and put it in there. Now we need the audio. I'll go to my explorer, I've already got this up here. Heavy Charge now, Doctor! This heavy revenge twelve. Do you remember me now? Let's drag this down into the timeline. Zoom in. Create a video track. I'm gonna select all these and just drag them down. Now for you, this might look different. I have changed my preferences so that all stills are really are a really short time when they're inserted. Let's see, here we go to preferences, editing, and new still image length. Mine is at 0.2. I don't I don't remember what the default is, but I lowered mine since I mainly do Gmod, and whenever I'm lip syncing, all these clips are going to be small anyway. So instead of dragging these long clips and then having to make them all small, I just change the new still length to whatever you want. You just have to try some numbers and see what works for you. But I found 0.2 is a relatively good number. So now every time I drag a still in, it's really small. Do you remember me now? So right now, all the clips are way longer. Do you remember me now? Than the audio. So we're gonna have to resize all of these so they fit. Well, at least all the ones that work. Now before I do that. I'm going to go ahead and change the event pan, crop setting here. I'm going to change the position. I'm going to go into widescreen. And we'll move it up a little bit so we have some more headroom. There we go. That looks good. I'm going to copy this one, highlight all the other ones, right click, hit paste event attributes. That'll do. All the effects and things I've done to that one, we'll paste it onto all these, so now they're all the same. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water. Okay, let's drag this out a little bit. Move all these. If you don't know, I'm clicking on the end one, holding shift, and clicking the last one, it'll select all in between. I'll move these, stretch this one out. <coughs> okay, so this is when he starts. We'll start with the D here. Actually, whoa. We'll pull this one back some more. Bring out the O. Let's drag this out more so you can see it better. Do you? 
that already looks good. Do you remember me now? Remember me now? Remember me? Do you remember? Do you? Now this is too long. It looked weird. Do you? Sorry if I don't talk a lot again. I'm trying to concentrate on this. Just kind of follow along. Do you remember me now? What I'm doing here is basically I'm just trying to do a preliminary lineup. I'll do some tweaking after this, but I want to get these in essentially the position they need to be in. Do you remember? Do you the M I think I'm I need to cut out some of these let's move this down to preview auto lower the resolution a bit so it can be more of a one-to-one -one preview to what I'm doing do you remember this one out move it delete that one move this one over here do you do you remember me now okay I'm gonna pause this recording I'll come back after I do some more of this preliminary because I know it's not very fun to watch once I get these done I'll tweak it for you so you can see that and well I'll see you in a bit okay I'm back <laughs> it took a while more than normal to edit it was because I had too many screenshots really I went too detailed because I was trying to make this precise in the tutorial and I did more than I normally do that along with I was sort of missing one sound which was the you do you I was sort of missing the mouth movement that I needed, so I had to sort of improvise it and switch some stuff around. Here's what I've got right now. Do you remember me now? Looks pretty good. Do you remember me now? A lot of this editing, you just got to keep watching it over and over again. Do you remember me now? Watch the lips, now? make sure it looks good. Do you remember me now? And I think this passes the psycho test, at least. Do you remember me now? So. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you is my project settings. I decided that I wanted to do this one in 720p. I could have done 1080, but I typically don't. I could, but I just don't. The screenshots I'm taking are in 1920 by... Or 1900 by... 1,200. Yeah. So then I, they're just shrunken down into 1280 by 720. So it looks good. But I don't always find 1080 to be necessary, so I just don't always do it. Oh, and I decided to go with uh, NTSC. 3 frames per second. Now in when you're doing stills like this, it, you can kind of just pick whatever you want. But if you're doing video, you want this to match whatever the video is, or else you'll it won't look good. I'll get into that in another episode. So, do you remember me now? Oh. It looks do good, but I'm going to add a few effects. I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, I'm back. I did some things. Not some bad things, some good things. Added some music. Added some background ambient noise. Did some color balancing. And I added some camera shake. I'll let you see. Do you remember me now? So nice. Okay. I'll explain to you how I did this camera shake. And when he starts sh shouting, I cut up those two or three stills into a bunch, and I change the crop on them all, just slightly. And then it stops after he's done. So this whole area here was about one or it was about like three stills, and I cut cut it up a bunch, and I went into here into the vent pan crop. Stop texting me during tutorials. Ah. Okay, and I changed this a little bit. Just zoomed in a bit and rotated. I had to zoom in because if I didn't and I tried to rotate, there'd be black bars on the edge, and that just looks dumb. So zoom in a bit. And do a little bit of rotating. Do it till it looks Ow! good. And there you go. I'll render this out for you. Show you the final thing. Oh, look at that. I already did it. Oh, well, I'll do it again. I'll give you some render settings here for a 720. Image size 1280 by 720. Frame rate is going to be. NTSC like the video project settings are. And then video rendering quality on best. Okay. Sure, let's override it. And bingo bango. Five seconds is done. And here you go. Here's the final product. Before I show you that, I'll bid my farewell. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you on the next episode. Hopefully you found this one enjoyable slash informative. And until then, my god, I f***ing love you. Do you remember me now?